I don't wanna say anything Cause if I do, I might say the wrong words Oh no So keep my mouth shut and I listen Afraid I lose you if I didn't Can we find what we're missing And compromise What's up guys? How you doing? Okay, hope I'm cool for welcome back to another cleaning video by Petite Mama. If you're new here, guys, my name is Eunice. I'm a mom and I'm also a wife. I currently have a toddler who is turning three years next month. And I'm also currently finishing my seven months pregnancy timeline. So welcome to today's video. On today's video, basically, guys, I'm just doing like a speed cleaning, you know. I'm not doing like the extra deep cleaning. Uh, and that is because I'm getting heavier by the day. So sometimes when I tend to overdo something, I'm, I just get so tired, especially my back. It tends to pain a little bit and then i start limping and i think it's also because my baby is leaning more towards my left side so when i get to overdo something i think that's common i just tend to start limping so i'm trying to take it easy trying to take it uh just trying to relax and i think you've noticed this week i've not posted any video i was also celebrating my <laughs> three years in marriage anniversary guys and that's awesome three years in my marriage i mean i'm grateful so guys uh let's start this video and also don't forget to subscribe or at least give this video a thumbs up and as you're going to see as we start hubby has helped me remove the curtains because those high areas are also becoming yeah a problem a problem sorry a problem for me to reach so hubby helped me out on that area and so i'm going to be putting them in the machine and then get them ready so today that was the major thing that i really wanted to get down to get done clean the curtains and then now do the other speed cleaning because i've not touched this house for the past one week so there's also a lot of dust but the speed cleaning is just going to help me at least get you know your dusty uh, haraka haraka so let's get going guys and thank you so much for the support thank you so much <laughs> So right now I'm just going to go ahead and wipe the kitchen counter. My kitchen counter also tends to get a little bit dusty and it's very important at least to, to get it wiped and also I go ahead and wipe some of the appliances just to make sure that everything is clean. 
and in order and then i'm going to go ahead and soak some of the kitchen towels and then i think i'm just going to go ahead and clean them later on um off camera i actually cleaned the fridge just to make sure that everything was clean inside there and my two year old now turning three is always disturbing me and when she comes to the kitchen she's always trying to get me to give her a snack yet she's already snacked but i think this is very common with kids this age they're always looking for something just to put in their mouth or munch so i went ahead and gave her some crepes which put her busy for some time until i finished to clean the kitchen but you'll still get to see her around I don't want to say anything Cause if I do I might say the wrong words Oh no So keep my mouth shut and I listen My friend I lose you if I didn't Tell me if I were missing And compromise So I keep my show so me not leave We're on thin ice winter season Can't wait for a single reason not to say goodbye I don't know if I'm the only one but I find cleaning the toilet so satisfactory because it just gets clean in such an easy way you know so after cleaning the toilet I definitely went ahead and started to work on Zemira's bedroom and I'm so glad that she is doing well sleeping alone and this is just making me so happy because I know I won't have a hard time when the next baby comes so this is always her room and the other bed is just in case I have a guest so she's really uh, enjoying her place and her space and it's funny that every time I tell her it's time to go and sleep she just knows the room that she needs to go to so I've really trained her it has taken me a while I won't lie and I only started by go sleeping with her and then I just sneak out of bed and go back to our room but nowadays I see that she's getting so much used and even when she's sleeping during the daytime I just make sure that I let her sleep in her room so that she gets to understand that that's her space and that's her room so for my bedroom also I just went ahead and spread the bed sheet because I wanted to put the duvet in the machine but the weather turned out to be so bad so I ended up not even cleaning the duvet I just bet I'm going to clean it another time when the sun comes out much much better. It's hard for me to let go. But I think that I'm finally feeling good again. So hard cuz I love you. But I'm finally feeling like myself. All of the wounds that were open by you are now closing I finally know how to live without hurting myself I think that I am moving on cuz I do feel less broken I needed a sign this is a sign that I'm healing I'm finally healing from you I'm finally
in this imperfect world. But I'm learning my way on earth. This means that I'm running through now when I think of you. I'm falling to a picture of you. You would eat me alive. And now when I think of you, I'm fine. And all of the wounds that were opened by you are now closing. I finally this is know how to live with that hurt. When you have a toddler, you can never ever run away from such things. This is always the last room to clean because it doesn't give me that kind of motivation that I'm looking forward to. Zemira is always wearing my shoes, always taking her dresses from the wardrobe and wearing them. Her babies are, are always broken and on the floor. She's always trying to write on papers. Nothing is ever in order here. So the curtains are, are out, but I just want to wipe the surfaces and also want to wipe these surfaces here because this place is quite dusty. I don't know if you can see that, but now this is the last area that I'm cleaning. You guys, if you've watched this video up to here and you're feeling motivated, please remember to give this channel a, a thumbs up or at least subscribe guys subscribe we're on the road to 10k subscribers and we are so close there so thank you so much guys so let me just go ahead and clean this area we, get, we need to get this place just clean because thank god right now she she has fallen asleep so i'm gonna try and just finish up this you know every time i see this kind of mess and i only have one toddler i just try and imagine people who have two or three toddlers oh my goodness it's a never-ending mess but we are here as moms we are surviving we are going strong mpaka wakuwe that is the life that's why i always say when you're going to a house that has a toddler please be nice don't judge them mom because anaiza panga dakambili before mgeni ingie ukitoka tu hivi the house is in a mess again but that's just life and they have we have to allow them to be that creative because that's how they become more creative that's how they grow and that's how actually we appreciate kuna mtu wako mahali ana wish nyumba yake ikichafuliwa hivyo na mtoto you know because he or she or them they just wish to have that blessing of a child so be nice to that mess clean it while smiling so let's go ahead and do this Don't you make up your mind Cause I'm getting tired Of overthinking every move you make And I can't help you decide Who you're loving now And how I'm not quite there somehow My intuition says to give you up But you won't even try to survive you Would rather keep it all inside And I can help you decide Who you're loving now And how I'm not quite there somehow My intuition says to give you up so after finishing up with the living room area i just went ahead and put back the floor mats which were already clean and then later on hubby came back home and he was able to help me put back the curtains so guys i'm going to see you in my next video i hope you've really enjoyed this video let's talk more in the comments section goodbye